Hello again. It's uh, another slightly redneck video here. I'm going to uh, talk about how to sharpen a knife. Um, used my knife quite a bit the last couple of days. Uh, you may have seen it in one of my other videos. Uh, let's see, I think my cheap garden bed video. I, uh, I was cutting holes in the cardboard there and I really dulled my knife up cutting into the ground and stuff so I need to sharpen it up. So I thought, you know, this is a good time to do a little video on how to sharpen a knife. Um, you know, there's plenty of other people doing videos on how to sharpen a knife. They're good at it. Um, they, they go into some great, great detail on it. Uh, but I, I'm going to do something. If you know me, I, I do this in most of my videos. I, I'm going to try to simplify it a little bit. Um, all that stuff works. Um, but this is my pocket knife that I use every day. I cut stuff with it pretty much every single day. There's no sense in me spending an hour and a half trying to sharpen this blade to a, a fine razor edge and then dull it out tomorrow whenever I you know, cut boxes open at work or whatever. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of a simplified approach here and it works well. Um, I'm going to get a, a very good you know, sharp knife, you know, little, little cut paper that will, you know, whatever you needed to do, it's going to work fine for you. Um, but if you're looking at, you know, some kind of knife that you want to, you know, sharpen up to, I don't know, push cut toilet paper with, if you don't know what that is, look it up sometime, <laughs> but push cutting is, is cutting through without, without sawing, you know, if you want to, if you want a knife that that's, that's that sharp, you know, you can do it this way, you're just going to have to put a lot more effort into it than what I'm doing. So, Anyway, let's walk you through it. Um, again, this will give you a good sharp knife uh, that you can work with that will cut anything you needed to cut. Um, thing is, if you're using your knife a lot, it's going to get dull quite a bit and uh, you're going to have to sharpen it quite a bit anyway. So, let's talk about sharpening in general. Um, along the knife, the edge, of course everybody knows this, I don't know how well you can see that on camera, right along here is the cutting edge of the knife. And you can tell it's got a little bit of a bevel to it. Hopefully you can see that on camera. It's got a little bit of a bevel to it where the blade, the metal goes up and then it curves in. Um, makes a nice point there on the end. Um, that's, that's your cutting edge. That's what you're going to be sharpening. Um, now, the way a knife gets sharp is you sharpen both sides of the knife um, and it grinds away the metal and makes that edge nice and fine and sharp. So, we're going to do that with stones. Um, I'm going to be using, um, I think this, you can buy this, this is a Smith's, I think, Smith, yeah, Smith's Trihone. It's a pretty good sharpening stone. There's nothing wrong with it at all. You can get all kinds of expensive and crazy geeked out on sharpening stones, Japanese water stones, ceramic stones, diamond stones, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter what stone you're using. The basic process is the same. Uh, the thing you're going to have to worry about when it comes to stones is make sure you know whether your stones are oil stones or water stones. These are natural stones. They're going to use oil. So I'm going to put honing oil on them. There's also a difference with how you treat diamond stones. With a natural stone, I put honing oil on it first, then I sharpen on it. With a diamond stone, you sharpen on it and you use honing oil to lift the metal and you wipe it all off clean, then you sharpen on it again. You know, with wet stones, with water stones, um, you're going to want to soak them in water. Um, and you use a lot of water with those stones. I don't have any, uh, you know, wet water stones, so we're going to be using oil stones. Uh, the basic process that I'm going to do is... Um, well, let me talk about this. This is a new knife. Um, I haven't had this knife that long. So it's still got the factory edge on it. Now it's dull because I've used the factory edge up, but it's still got that factory angle. Now you can get uh, most things that you buy are going to come with like this is a little angle guide. And the way that works is you just set it on the stone like so. You lay your knife on it and it tells you the angle that you need to sharpen at. And the idea is that you leave that on the stone and you sharpen across there. I'm going to tell you that's somewhat important, maybe your first time that you're sharpening, but here's the, uh, here's the deal about sharpening is that this is at a 23 degree angle. 23 degrees is considered like optimal for any, uh, for pocket knife, for like work type knives. Um, that's, a, that's an optimal edge, 23 degrees. So yeah, you can do all this effort to get to, you know, get your hand where you're holding it at 23 degrees, you know, right there, you hold that perfect angle every single time. but. Honestly, anything from about 17 to 27 percent or 27 degree angle is going to be plenty sharp enough for you. So use the angle guide, get it on your stone, get an idea of where 23 degrees is, and then go off your hands. Because the idea here is you want to hold a consistent angle when you're dragging your knife across the stone. You want to keep it consistent every single time. Now, me personally, I find I cannot hold 23 degrees, whatever that is exactly, exactly right every time. So I find something that's natural for me, that's easy for me to hold, and it, as long as it's between, like I said, 17 and 27 degrees, which it is, 
that's fine use that angle that's going to be easier for you to sharpen with you'll get much much better results than you will if you just try to force yourself to do a 23 degree angle and you can't hold it you can't hold that angle every stroke that you do so <clears throat> also with a new knife you always want to start with a coarse stone now normally if you if you can see this blade I don't know if you can see it or not there's no nicks in it it's a pretty straight um, I mean it's just dull it just needs really honed up but the problem is is that factory edge is not going to be the angle that I sharpen at naturally so with a brand new knife even though it's not nicked up or anything like that I'm going to use the coarse stone and I'm going to develop my edge first this is the same process you're going to use if you've got a blade that's got some severe nicks in it or any of those kinds of things um, otherwise you know a knife like this that's just dulled out you don't need to go over this coarse stone step that I'm going to use um, and establish the edge. The edge is already established and as long as you were the one that established it your angle is going to be the same. You can go move right on to medium and right on to fine. It's a lot easier to maintain an edge than it is to put a new edge on. So anyway that's some basics about sharpening. Um, let me get the camera adjusted here and, and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the stones and I'll show you kind of the process you're going to use uh, for, uh, for actually establishing an edge. It's the first thing we'll do. Okay, this particular stone comes with three sides. It's got a coarse, a fine, and a medium. I'm going to start off with the coarse side. I'm going to work on establishing the edge on this knife right here. So, um, the first thing I want to do, again, these are oil stones. So, I want to take some oil. This is honing oil. You can get that at any sporting goods store. Um, don't worry about the brand. It doesn't matter. Just get honing oil. Um, I'm going to put a few drops on here. Now, the coarse stone is going to take quite a bit of oil. I'm going to rub that around with my fingers and get that all over the stone. When you get to onto the uh, medium stone, you can see how that stone just soaks that oil up. You don't need it dripping off there or anything, but when I get to the medium stone and the fine stone, then uh, it, it, they're not going to use nearly as much oil. So I'm going to establish my angle, like I said, somewhere between 20, uh, 17 and 27 degrees, somewhere like in that. This is the angle that I'm going to use. Find a grip that's comfortable for you. You don't have to push down incredibly hard. And you're going to drag your knife, kind of like you're cutting a label off of a uh, off of, off of the stone itself. Drag it forward. Now I don't know if you can see that with my fingers in there, so I'll move my fingers and show you. You're going to drag your knife forward, like you're trying to remove a label, cut a label off of uh, the the stone itself. And the way I like to do this now, there's two ways to do this. You can go this way and then turn the blade over and bring it back the other way, just like that. You don't have to press real hard. Keep the same angle every time, both sides. Make sure you, uh, when you get down to the tip, right there, you're, you're going to kind of lift your hand up a little bit. Not a lot, not that drastic, of course, but to keep that keep that tip on the tip on the uh, the stone. The other way to do that is basically the same thing, but to go over this side. And this is what I like to do when establishing a, an edge. I go back and forth, and I grind this blade back and forth. Until I, until I form a burr on the opposite side. Now when you sharpen metal, when you grind against metal, it's going to roll. I'm sharpening this way. It's going to roll that metal up on this side of the knife. And you should be able to feel that burr. If you just run your thumb across there, and I don't have one yet, you should be able to feel just a little bit of a catch. Another way you can tell if there's a burr is if you run your thumb this way, just lightly, very lightly across the top of the blade, it'll feel like it's wanting to catch, like it's sharp. But when you do it on the other side, it's not going to be sharp because it, that's where the burr is. That's where the burr is folded over. <coughs> so I'm going to grind on this for a few minutes until I get a burr established. Make sure you get the whole blade. can't show this on camera and I can't really tell you exactly what it feels like but what I'm doing is I'm running my thumb this way over the top of that edge just almost flat against the blade and then I curve it just a little bit at the end and I can feel that burr kind of rolled up on the edge of this knife make sure it's all the way along if it's if you got a burr down here but not up here work on it a little bit more until you got a burr all the way across 
I got a burr. So now I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. And I know my hands are going to be kind of in the way here. This is just how I do it. I put my fingers on the back of the knife. That helps me kind of get an idea of where I'm going. So I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. Back and forth. Let's see if I can do it without my fingers in the way. Back and forth. Until I flip that burr over to the other side. I'm not putting a lot of downward pressure on this blade. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I got the burr flipped over to the other side now, to this side. So now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to flip it back over. And I'm going to do this four times. I'm going to grind on this side till the burr forms on this side. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to grind on this side till the burr forms on this side. And I'm going to do that four or five times. And then I'm going to move on to the next step. So let me get this done because there's no sense in you watching me just grind on a stone. And I'll come back and I'll show you kind of what the next step is once you flip that burr from side to side about five or six times. However many you want to do, but five times, uh, you know, four times is probably enough. Um, four times on each side, if that makes sense. And I'll be right back with you and I'll show you the next step. All right, so I've got my burr flipped over four or five times. Right now there's a, there's a burr on this side of the knife here. So instead of going back and grinding this burr away, what I'm going to start doing is honing that burr away. So this is when I am going to switch to, and not very hard. Again, don't put a lot of pressure down on it. I'm going to go once on this side. I'm going to flip the knife over, and I'm going to go once on this side. And then I'm going to go once on this side, flip the knife over, and go once on this side. And what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of that burr. I'm going to do that over and over again. It's probably going to take, I don't know, 20, 25 strokes probably to, to get rid of that burr. I'm going to stop periodically and feel it. What you're looking for is when it's relatively sharp, when you run your thumb across it, it wants to catch on it. You'll, you'll know it whenever you feel that. And test both sides and make sure. Because see, like this, when I go this way, it feels sharp. When I go this way, it doesn't feel sharp. So that means I've still got a little bit of a burr over here I need to get rid of. So I'm going to keep sharpening for a while until it feels evenly sharp all the way up and down the blade, going both ways, back and forth. So hopefully um, it's hard for me to explain like what it feels like when it feels sharp, but you'll know it. It'll want to it'll want to catch on your thumb. It'll want to you know it'll want to pull on the the little uh, oh your edges of your fingerprints and that kind of stuff. So. Let me get that done, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what we do next. All right, I've got a, a pretty good edge established now. Um, again, once you've got that burr gone, you should be able to feel it right across this way. Like I said, it should want to catch on you, and then I'll feel the other side, and it should want to do pretty much the same thing. And we've got a pretty good edge should be established now. This is the new edge. This is the edge that we just put on it. It's different than the factory edge. It's our own personal, you know, how you hold the knife uh, edge. So it should work just great. Now we're going to switch over to the medium stone. And we're basically going to do the same thing. Now that we've established this edge, what we're going to do is we're going to hone this edge. And we're going to go over it one stroke this way, one stroke this way, like same angle you were holding on the core stone until uh, like you're trying to, to cut a label off the stone. Now you'll notice that a medium stone doesn't soak up the oil like a like a coarse stone does. You can get a bunch of gunk off of the stone whenever you do that, but that's good. So again, stroke it forward, lay it on the other side, same angle you've been using all along, stroke it back. And we're going to do this over and over and over and over again until 
you'll be able to notice it if you look at that edge right there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but right there at the edge of the knife, until all the coarse scratches are out of it, and they're they're much finer um, uh, scratches. Um, and then we're going to move to the fine stone. We're going to do the same thing on the fine stone. So this will probably take another you know 30, 40 passes, something like that. So you, know, you just want to work it until, uh, like I said, until it's starting to, to polish up. And again, this is not much fun to watch, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then I'll come back and I'll show you. Hopefully you'll be able to see on camera the edge of the knife, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. If not, um, it's something that's pretty obvious. You'll know uh, when you go from a coarse stone, it's going to leave really coarse scratches in the edge of your knife. You're going to see that. And then when you switch to a, a medium stone, and you start sharpening, after you feel like you've got enough, wipe the oil and stuff off the knife. And look at it real close. And if you still see a bunch of really coarse scratches, it doesn't look any different, you need to go a little bit further. You should start, you should see it progressing pretty nicely. And when you get to a point where you feel like, you know, all the coarse scratches are out of there, now it's these medium scratches, then you can move on to the fine stone. Um, let me get this done, and we'll come back and we'll show you what we're going to do on the fine stone. Okay, I've got that edge polished up pretty good now. Um, I know you probably won't be able to see it on camera, but you can see it's looking much, much better. There's a lot finer scratches in it now. It's a lot smoother than it was before. So now we're going to move on to the fine stone. We're going to do the same thing. Before you move on, you know, do your test again on both sides of the knife. Make sure you didn't work up a new burr on this medium stone. This feels pretty good, both directions. So I think we're good. So I'm going to turn to the fine stone. I'm going to put a few drops of oil in there, and this won't take much oil at all. It won't, uh, it won't soak into this stone much at all. This is a much tighter um, grain in the stone. And then it's the same basic process. You're going to go this direction, this direction, the same angle you've been using all along, and you're going to do it for, I don't know, do it for 30, 40 strokes, check your knife, and you're looking for you know, that, that edge to get more polished. So just watch it until it feels like it's more polished. Check your knife. If it's sharp, but it doesn't just doesn't have that bite, like whenever you try to drag it across a paper, piece of paper, it did, doesn't want to catch it. It just wants to smooth, you know, run over it. Spend more time on this fine stone. This is probably where most of your sharpness, if not all of your sharpness, comes from, really, is this fine stone. The, the finer stone you have, the better it is, but you need to work up to them in, in increments. This is the finest stone I have. If you have, um, I, I don't remember what grit it is, but if you have a finer stone, you would move from this one to that one, and that would make your, your knife a lot sharper. If you have um, like honing solution and you want to stroke your knife after this, like on a leather belt or um, you know something with some solution on it, stroke it back and forth basically, that'll polish it up even more and make it a lot sharper. But again, I'm going to stop right after this step because this is as sharp as my knife needs to be. It'll be plenty sharp enough when I get done running across this fine stone to do everything I needed to do and as much as I use it it's going to dull out quick so I'm going to have to come back. So let me get this done and then I'll come back and I'll I'll have some closing thoughts and some some uh, final words to say uh, to close this video out. Alright that's uh, that's looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see that but it's quite a bit more polished up. Feels very sharp. Um, I think I'm good. Um, I'm happy with how sharp it is. Uh, let's do some sharpness tests here real quick. All I've got here is a piece of paper. We'll see if it will, uh, I don't know if I can get this on camera, if it will cut the paper. It does cut the paper. Let's see, can I do this? How about that? It does cut the paper. There are sharper knives out there that will cut better. But it cuts the paper. I'm happy with that. We can do it, uh, the sharpness test that my grandpa always did. See if it will shave. See if you can cut some hair off. Careful when you do this, don't cut your arm. But you can see it easily, I don't know if you can see it on camera, easily shaves hair off my arm. So, it's plenty sharp enough for me. This is a good working edge. Um, like I said, you're going to have to maintain this anyway, so I don't see any point in getting it a whole lot sharper than that. Um, here's something though, unless you put nicks in this blade, um, don't bang on things with it of course, but unless you put nicks in this blade, 
um, all you got to do from this point on out is the medium and the fine and a lot of times all you got to do is the fine uh, but you've already established your angle um, you've already established your edge anyway so now you're not going to have to go back to that coarse setting and do that again unless um, you put a big nick in your blade or you you bang it up, I mean you really really damage it, then you may have to establish a new angle. But Other than that, um, that's pretty much all there is to sharpening knives. Um, if you're new to sharpening knives, which I'm guessing you are, you wouldn't be watching my video, you'd kind of already know this stuff, then uh, you know, practice a little bit, uh, get yourself a cheap knife if you have to, so you don't worry about tearing it up. And cheap knives, they sharpen really easy because they're soft steel, so it doesn't take nearly as long to get them sharp. And, and play with this until you get it good and sharp and then go get yourself a good knife and then you can sharpen it because all knives sharpen the same way. Just realize when you go from a cheap knife to a, to a nice knife, a nice expensive knife, that <clears throat> it's probably made of a lot harder steel and it's going to take a lot longer to get your edges established and to do your sharpening than it would with a cheap knife. So don't think when you tr start sharpening initially on a, on a good knife that this is never going to get sharp. It just takes longer. Um, it takes twice as long at least. Uh, to get it there. So, anyway, hopefully that's helpful. If you have questions, comments, oh, and sorry, I was going to finish up by saying if you watch some other videos and those guys have real complex methods about sharpening, most of those guys that I've seen, they know what they're doing. They get incredibly sharp knives. This is a simple way to do it. Do this, learn this. Once you've learned this, go watch their videos, uh, figure out what else they do that's different, and use that stuff if you want to because it does work. But what I showed you today is easy, and it will get you a reasonably sharp knife that works great. Um, I clean squirrels with this and rabbits, and um, I cut you know, paper boxes open at work. I do all kinds of things with this little bitty knife here, and um, my edge is sharp enough to do everything I need it to do. So hopefully that helps, and again, if you have comments, please leave them. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. Look me up on Facebook. I just got my Facebook page started. Uh, there's not much there, but... You know, uh, it's growing. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, give me your tips if you have any tips. I always look forward to hearing uh, constructive criticism and uh, additional tips from uh, people that are viewing the videos. So thank you again for watching, and as always, God bless.